Hi, you guys. I have a question today. If a gay couple was at your church, how would you respond to them? Would you come up to them and say, hey, you're going to hell. You got to turn from this. this. This ain't right. You're going to go to hell. Or would you be kind and patient with them and let the Holy Spirit work in them and through them? And, and love them through their sin like you were loved through your sin. Because if we're approaching gay people in a hostile manner with self-righteousness. And you're trying to tell them you're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. Do you think they're going to really want to come back to church? Are they going to continue to sit under the word that can wash their mind free from the lies that they've been brainwashed with? You see, there's gay people in churches nowadays. And no, it's not okay to be gay. But no, it's not okay to be drunk either. Like, there's other sins than just being gay. See, there's like this attack that people are doing against gay people in churches and stuff. And there's this video I watched right now with these two Christians. And they go with their little sign with the devil on the bottom and Jesus on the top. And in, in uh, rainbow letters, you know, representing the gay thing. Even though it's supposed to represent God's promise. But anyways, uh, with the devil saying, you're going, to, I'll see you in hell. Like, in front of this church that accepts gay people. Okay, like, being gay isn't cool, but that's not the way you're going to win them over to Christ. That's, they're not going to, like, do you, do you understand they've got lies in their head? Yeah, they have to be broken, but we are supposed to walk in love and let God do his work in them and through them. And, and when we come at them with hostility, then that, that's not going to convert them. It's not going to change them. It's going to push them away from Jesus. There's so many people like drunkards that have entered into church smelling and reeking like fear. And then the, the people that are supposed to be walking in love who are supposed to be Christ's example to them are coming at them with judgment. And, and self-righteousness and anger and telling them you're gonna go to hell like that's not gonna change they're gonna they're gonna go away from church that's why so many people think that Christians are hypocrites because they went in their broken state and in their sin to church and people approached them you know wrongfully if you're really a Christian, if you're truly born again with the Holy Spirit, you will you will walk in love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not boast. It does not envy. It is not proud. It is not self-seeking. It does not dishonor others. You should look up 1 Corinthians 4, 8, 4, 8, 4 through 8 somewhere along there so I just wanted to say that today like if you know somebody who's gay if you know somebody who's drunk and they show up at church or or even if they claim to be Christian and they're gay lovingly show them the scriptures but be led by the Holy Spirit and like but okay so if they they're in church and they're gay like Okay, they're like, they're learning, you know, God's got to change their mind. But if they're like, oh, we're totally Christians, you're totally Christians, and they're gay, well, lovingly, lovingly, and gently in the right spirit, correct them, let them know, hey, you know, this isn't okay with God, you know. And then if they disagree with you or they twist the scriptures, then, you know, you've done your part and ask them to pray about it. Pray for them. Ask them to take it to God. But you um, intercede for them. Fast for them. And, and you know, it's the Lord who uh, changes people's hearts. And he is the one who changes us. But, 
you have to walk in love to bring people to Christ. You have to walk in love, not anger and self-righteousness. I hope this helps somebody out there. I hope you guys share it. And I think I might include a link to a video of two Christians who did not walk in love. They go to this church with these people coming out of it and they they accept gay people there, but the gay people, the, 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 the church is trying to explain to them, no, we don't like, uh, you know, we don't agree with it, but like, I think they were trying to explain, you know, but you gotta love them like I was, like I'm saying right now, but um, anyways, these two guys, these two Christians were so self-righteous and so angry. You know what? In the Bible it says, Paul became a Gentile to the Gentiles, and he became a Greek to the Greeks. I'm not, okay, and if you don't know what that scripture means, because I didn't at first, I had to learn, but it means, um, he, you get down at their level. You don't go and sin with them. You don't become gay or drunk with them. But you, you, you try to level with them. I don't know how to explain it. Well, I hope you guys got something from this video. God bless you guys. If you did, uh, great. Um, uh, and praise God. God bless you guys. Bye.